Hey, what's up everybody? It's Luke and you're watching Luke the Gathering and I'm happy to open this Lost Caverns of Ixalan set booster box. One in 12 boosters includes a Jurassic World card. So there is a partnership for you, Hasbro, going uh, into the Jurassic Park sort of universe. And um, I think there's also a box topper, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there it is. Treasure Trove box topper. So let's open this first and discover what we get in this Treasure Trove box topper. Let's see. Arcane Signet. Holy moly, Arcane Signet. Okay. Arcane Signet. Um, pretty common card for Commander. Great card, um, but nothing like crazy. All right, we got a lot of packs to open here. Got some fun art. That's fun. And let's see, we just, we're actually starting off right away with a list card, Cave Sense. And then we got a Subterranean Schooner. It's an uncommon dinosaur, and I think that's it. Yeah, and then we're just going to go through commons and uncommons, which we're not going to do. We're just going to keep going through the cards and see what we get. Let's try to open it pretty quick here. Plundering Pilot, a call to call. First among equals. That's just all these names in this um, particular set that, um, I don't know. They're just, I think they're more difficult for me for whatever reason. At the pre-release, I know I was having difficulty pronouncing a lot of the cards, I feel like. Boulder, and then the Enigma Jewel. And that's a mythic right off the bat there. Yearling, and uh, that's it. So, so far, nothing too crazy. We got one mythic in the first few packs of this opening. And like I said, we're going to try to go a little quick here. Gnome Soldier. Token. Cavern Stomper, and then Restless Vents. It's a rare. Right into common. So I feel like these are just like really, so far, you know, when you get these set boosters, you're like, ooh, you can get more than one rare, you can get all these cool things in them. So far, they don't feel that amazing yet. Hopefully, they will change and get better. Here's co something cool. Pantlaza, Sun Favored, Mythic Foil. So that's cool. Squirming Emergence, rare. And okay, there we go, Restless Prairie, full art. So that's what kind of like the fun of the set booster. We got like three sort of rare cards in a row there. So that's the kind of set booster I'm hoping to open more of, obviously. What's this? Nothing much. And then we got Inti, Seneschal of the Sun as our rare. And then we're back to commons and uncommons. I'm always afraid they're gonna put like a rare or something in the common uncommon spots, but I'm pretty sure that just doesn't happen. Dinosaur, 3 1 Dino, token. And then we got a stalactite stalker. Rare. And just a bunch of commons and uncommons. Cause it's definitely more exciting, you know, in these set boosters when you actually get those multiple rares and things like that. That goes, of course, without saying. We got a mythic here. Chimmel, the inner sun. And that's it, though. Yeah, that's it. See what I mean? It's like, ooh, set booster, lots of rares. Mm, maybe in some of the packs. Squintorious. And we got Tarion's Journal. It's a card I played with in the pre-release. Fun. Fun times, the pre-release. More art cards. We got a treasure token. And then we got the Restless Ridge Line Rare Land. And just an uncommon thrashing Brontodon. Okay. So this is a cool looking art card. I don't know, when I first saw it, it reminded me of the Joker. Dinosaur. 
Hit the mother load. Rare. Uh, Nicanzel, but this is, of course, your alternate kind of art card. Nothing too much over there. We got one of these punch outs. Okay, uncommon, mischievous pup, Ubuelo, ancestral echo. Another rare. Amalia, Benavides, Aguirre. And then we're hitting some uncommons. There we are. So far, pretty uneventful box. I feel like nothing going on, uh, really. Sanguine Evangelist. Mythic, the Myco Tyrant. Legendary creature, Elder Fungus. Cool. And it's in the alternate art. Which is nice, of course. I love the alternate art. It's okay, we got a Sig River Cutthroat. And this is from the list slot. It's a rare from the list. And our regular rare is the Echoing Deeps. Dreadma Full Art. Alright, let's keep going here. This guy, cool. We got another veteran of the deeps. This is just an uncommon though, from the list. And then we have, ooh, look at that, Cavern of Souls. That's a good card to pull right there. Cavern of Souls, reprinted into this set at Mythic. Okay, that's a really nice pull. Enjoyed that one quite a bit. I know there's some really cool pulls you can possibly get in here. We have a rare um, foil, Stalactite Stalker. Then we got a dire flail. Rakdos Cackler from the list. And then threefold Thunder Hulk. It's a rare artifact creature. Bartolome. I like Bartolome in terms of. Playing him did well in my pre-release tournament with him. Fungus, Ray of Ruin, Al Alatzot's Deepest Betrayal. Look at that. 4-4 Mythic Bat God. Okay, I like that one. Mythic. Let's see how many mythics we pull at the end. I've been separating the mythics. So hopefully we get an easy way to see them. Grumgully the Generous. Then we got Atarian's Soul Cleaver and Altar of the Wretched. Okay, cool. Map Token, Greedy Freebooter, and then Whale of the Forgotten. Oh, and then we got a basic land. Um, from the Jurassic Park Island. So these are not that easy to get. So they might be worth a little bit. I don't think anything too crazy. Are there any huge Jurassic Park fans out there? I'm not a huge Jurassic Park fan, to tell the truth. Corpses of the Lost. Yeah, even the original Jurassic Park, I mean, I like them, it's just, I don't know, I'm not like super into it for whatever reason, but I know a lot of people love dinosaurs and everything dinosaur related. Throne of the Grim Captain, and then here's another um, Jurassic Park land. And so sometimes you can get characters from Jurassic Park and other things. Sometimes you can get lands. And here's a token from Jurassic Park. Um, and then we got Deep Fathom Echo. Oh, and here's the planes from Jurassic Park. Getting all the lands. I wonder if anyone's actually get, trying to get all the Jurassic Park lands. Big Jurassic Park fans trying to get that. Oger, Pac Petite, Deepest Epoch. See, this is a tough one. I actually got this in one of my pre-releases as well. Illustrious Wondergraph. That's a double rare or rare mythic pack. 
Those are always winners. But this box had Cavern of Souls in it, so that's, I mean, I think that's pretty good, right? Uh, Sahili, there we go. The Sun's Brilliance. So I feel like we've gotten a fair number of Mythics now that we've sort of gotten through the box signature there. Map, and then Restless Reef, Rare Land, and a Mythic, Waita, a Trainer Prodigy. That's one of the Commander Mythics. I'll still count it as a Mythic, though. And we only have just a few more packs to go out of this box. Rare, Hulking Raptor. Rare, Pugnacious Hammer Skull. All right, we're almost done here. Dreadmaw foil, the belligerent, rare boat. Okay, two more packs. Ooh, what's this? Mythic Oger Kaslim Deepest Growth. That's cool looking, and that's oh, one of those land ones. That's cool. Breaches, that's nice. And uncommons. Okay. I like that land card. That was cool. I think it's one of like the gods, right? Out of the set. And then we had Polani's Hatcher. And that does it. So let's pull out the mythics. I, I set them aside already. So we got Oger, Chasm, Deepest Growth. And this turns actually into... Someone had this, I think, against me. Oh, I guess nothing much. It, you can transform it back to the god on the other side. 6-5, though. That's really good. Weta, so that's 2. So Healy, 3. Oger, 4. Alatzots, 5. Cavern of Souls, 6. Microtyrant, 7. Jamil, 8. Pentlaza, 9, and Enigma Jewel, 10. So 10 Mythics. Hey, that's pretty good, I think. All right. Well, there you go. Let me know what you thought of this box. Um, nice to get that Cavern of Souls, for sure. I'll see you next time.